So, who is the resource to teach kids about personal finance? Meet Sam Rennick, the creator of Sammy Rabbit. What is up, Money Tribe? Mike the Mazel here to help you make sense of dollars. How You Money is a series of interviews with people exploring their financial journey. For the first question, Sam, what made you start in your financial journey? Look, I grew up uh, in what I like to call upper poverty. You know, we had food to eat and we had basic clothing. You know, like, and we were happy, you know, kids, but there were seven of us and basically a two bedroom, a one bath house. And so that and other factors and my dad talking to us a lot about money and money for me is, is essentially a lot about freedom and having more choices. So you fast forward, I'm going to say 18, 20 years to when I graduated from college and I started saving like a third of what I made. I had already read this book, The Richest Man in Babylon. One of the key philosophies in there was like this idea of uh, pay yourself first. And then I got into the financial services business. That was a second career, you know, as an advisor, I didn't really like it at, at all. But there were a couple of things that were enjoyable for me. And one was having conversations and learning what other people were doing with their money. I had no idea that people weren't saving or investing. And so that's kind of what launched me into the financial education is for maybe six or seven years, I heard, you know, in all of these meetings, like, oh, Sam, I wish I would have started saving when I was a kid or investing. I like this idea of education. It was important to me. It's something I think that has value and purpose. Maybe I can figure out ways to take these messages, things like what Warren Buffett teaches or Benjamin Franklin. He's my go-to guy. Like, you'll give me some financial advice and then I'll put it through what I call the, the Ben Franklin test. Let me see what Benjamin Franklin says. And maybe I can take these ideas and translate them for kids. They're the same ideas, but we just communicate them a different, in a, maybe a different way, maybe the same way. Mm. Uh, and, and we do it through Sammy the Rabbit. I wanted to ask, I wanted to quickly shift um, and ask about yourself with being in the financial education space. What would you say your number one money hack? is for me when you're the number one habit you can teach anyone but particularly children is to save their mm. money saving is the foundation for all wealth when kids learn how to save they're learning how to delay gratification if you can master delay gratification you're going to have a lot of success in life because that's a skill that's a behavior that's a habit that transcends and is useful in any endeavor uh, you do. That's so true, that's so true. For my next question, who are some of, I I kind of heard you answer it earlier, who are <laughs> some of your influences and inspiration in personal finance space? Well, as I said, ben, Benjamin Franklin for me is, is number one and mm -hmm. Susie Orman or Dave Ramsey, mm -hmm. Robert Kiyosaki, Ginger Applegarth, and she's somebody who introduced me to this idea of lifetime earnings, lifetime earnings. Uh, I'll tell you one of the people I like to read online is Jonathan Clemens. Mm -hmm. uh, he used to write for the Wall Street Journal. He has a blog called The Humble Dollar. Uh, there's a writer for, he writes a lot for Market Watch. Paul Merriman is excellent. Janet Bodner, her advice on kids and money is spot on. You know, it's like a hamburger. There's a lot of different hamburgers out there. There's a lot of different people in personal finance. Find one or more voices and then make sure to compare and contrast and see that their information is on target. Name one thing you choose to spend extravagantly on. You know, I'm half Italian, Michael, so I love to eat. So yeah. uh, usually food is, uh, <laughs> is the first thing, but it was always within my budget. Yeah. I, I wanted to ask, what is the best advice you ever received? I'm going to give you two pieces of advice. And one was the idea of paying yourself first. Mm -hmm. All right. That was something my father talked to me about. And he's the one 
when I don't know, I was 12 or 13, he had me read The Richest Man in Babylon. The second thing I'd like to share is, is what my dad used to repeat to us, uh, don't surrender your future to debt. And this is something Robert Kiyosaki, uh, I don't know if he used these exact words, but he made me think like, who do you work for? A lot of people might say, well, okay, I work for the military or I work for... Uh, Apple, whatever it is. But when you're paying interest on credit cards, you're working for the credit card company. Nice, nice. So I know with Sammy Rabbit, you've been creating content for however long. What would you say your most favorite piece of content that you've created? I'm going to say our song, Get in the Habit. This song is infectious. We've sang it all over the world. And this is a song we would teach kids. They could learn it right on the spot. I have to, I'll, I'll listen, I'll listen to it after this. Okay, you do that. Yeah. So some, let's jump into the closing uh, questions. Uh, who are you interested in seeing how you money? Derek Wesley. Derek Wesley is a financial education uh, entrepreneur. He just came out with an app called Planet. So he would be one person, maybe Cheryl Garrett. Cheryl Garrett's uh, one of my financial uh, heroes. She's a real icon in the financial services uh, uh, business. So she might be another. So my next one is, what are you up to? We just established the Sammy Rabbit Kids and Money pages. And then a second thing, we're working hard to launch an online Sammy Rabbit Money School in late February of 2021 to coincide with America and Military Saves Week. So that's well underway. Part of that money school, we're gonna have a story time with author Sam Rennick and special guests. Those are the two big things we're up to right now. That's awesome. Congratulations on that. And Thank it would you. be an honor to help out. So my last one is where can people find you? Oh, thank you for asking. Uh, probably no surprise. We're at sammyrabbit.com. That's S-A-M-M-Y-R-A-B-B-I-T.com. Sammyrabbit.com. Everybody's welcome. Feel free to contact me. I'll try to help you as much uh, as I'm able to. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate your time and everything that you've done for the financial space, for children, and everything beyond. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below what you thought of this video. Gently tap that thumbs up because it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. High five that subscribe if you haven't already. Stay legendary and I'll see you in the next video.